Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually back with a life update. Y'all know I've been going through a lot with my health the past year or so, going on two years almost now. I've had a lot of hospitalizations and a lot of undiagnosed immune related issues. And I've recently gotten a diagnosis. I have what is called adult onset Stills disease. It's a rare autoimmune disorder. And um, my symptoms have progressed into what they call macrophage activation syndrome and I'm having a lot of complications from it. I actually had an appointment today with my Duke rheumatologist. I have to completely switch health systems because where I am is the Cone Health System and um, my care wasn't being managed well at all. So um, I made the switch in July and all of my providers now are through the Duke Health Care System. And um, they wanted to admit me today. They, I went in for my appointment at 10 and sorry, I'm very winded. I'm having like some inflammation issues. I think it's called pleurisy where um, it starts like inflaming the area around your lung and it kind of makes it a little bit hard to breathe. I have pain when I breathe too. Um, what was I saying? I had my appointment today at 10 and they did blood work urinalysis, blood cultures, they even did a check the x-ray because I was so much more winded this time than I was last time. And um, a lot of my tests came back bad and um, I was still actually in the hospital at the time. I had went down to the food court because I really didn't feel well. I needed to eat something before I got back on the road. And uh, my doctor called me and she said, hey, I'm looking at some of your test results that have come in and they're not good. Um, I want to admit you to the hospital today and so i went back down to her office if you know anything about duke you know they have like clinics so i was at the food court and i went back to the rheumatology clinic and um they let me go back and actually talk to her again and you know she was like it just really scares me i told her i have a lot of ptsd from being in the hospital when i was in this healthcare system they would have me in the hospital for so many days at a time and I felt like a lot of time it was useless because they weren't really treating my condition or they gave a lot of pushback or they just didn't know what to do. I feel like a lot of time was wasted as far as managing my care. And I just, I let her know, you know, if I'm admitted to the hospital, what is going to be done? And if I'm not admitted, what's the alternative? So she gave me an alternative. She said in two days I need to go and I can go to a local lab court and do blood work. And if it comes back okay, then we're good. They did give me a steroid shot in office today. I'm already on 60 milligrams of steroids, but that's not working because I'm in a flare right now. My blood pressure is high, my pulse is high. I have a temperature. I have all my symptoms that I have during a flare. Uh, body pains, body aches, I have a horrible headache. Um, earlier today, I was very red. Like my palms were so red. My cheeks were very red and flush. And um, so I'm, I'm in a full flare right now. So I knew that my numbers were not going to be good if they tested me today. And um, so she was like, you know, we gave you the shot today of steroids to kind of help you out more. They gave me like 40 milligrams of, um, I think it's something that starts with like a DEX or something. I can't think right now. I have a lot of brain fog. It's just a lot of information that's been thrown at me here recently about my condition. And it's a lot to take in. It's a lot on me mentally and emotionally, obviously, while still trying to go on a regular day life, work my job, that kind of thing. It's just really been a lot. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's why when I get missed and I just like can't mentally handle doing anything else outside of what I absolutely have to do. So um, she told me, you know, in two days we'll go back and we'll test your blood. And um, if it's not looking good, you're going to have to go into the hospital. So, um... I started treatment, I started this medication called Alaris on September the 1st, that was my first dose. They had me doing 300 milligrams every 28 days. And they're thinking that maybe they either need to up the dose if they can, or they need to give it to me more frequently because the 28 days is not lasting. Like I was okay the first couple weeks in September. Y'all know I was making videos and doing everything, I was okay. And then it's like the medication's not lasting. So they're thinking either I need to do, be doing 150 of my shot every two weeks just to make sure it's steady in my system or I need to like up the dose. They're, wanna, they're going to work on that. I have another dose coming up on September the 29th and I'll be glad to get that because it does help me feel better for a little bit. But then after that, they're going to reevaluate what we need to do next month. 
so I know that's a lot that is what I know right now about my condition um, there's no cure for it it's a lifelong disease um, I can still live my life you know just like with other autoimmune diseases of course there's going to be complications hopefully no major complications um, the goal was for me to be on the LARS for a year and hopefully knock my stills into remission and knock me out of macrophage activation syndrome because that could be very bad it could start attacking my organs like my spleen my liver things like that um y'all know i've been having kidney issues too and they said typically still doesn't affect the kidney so my nephrologist is still concerned about that so i'm still going to see him i just went to see him september the 16th and he did some lab work and stuff i still have protein in my urine like crazy and they just can't figure it out um, when they did my kidney biopsy last year, they said that I had like immunocomposites in there. So it's, you know, pointing towards autoimmune, but they couldn't figure out what it was in. And it is a Stills disease. Um, they did confirm it with specific tests that they used to test for it. And um, another reason she wanted to admit me today is because my platelets were low again. So they are even talking about a bone marrow biopsy. That's a lot. I don't want to have to go through that. They're trying not to put me through that. They've mentioned it several times, but they're trying to avoid that because I've already had a kidney biopsy, a lymph node biopsy. You know, it's just a lot. They said if they were to do the bone marrow biopsy, they would be looking for specific cells and things that are related to steels. But I don't want to have to go through that. So we'll see. That's what I know right now, y'all. I'm feeling pretty bad today. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'll be glad to, I have hauls to report for y'all and then I'm going to lay down because I do not feel well, but I want to give y'all an update. Pray for me. That's all I ask. I know I got some strong prayer warriors out there. Y'all always come through for me. Just pray for me. It's a lot right now. It's a lot on me, a lot on my support system. It's just a lot. So thank y'all so much for watching and I will talk to you again in the next video. Bye.